Hey kids, notice something different? <laughs> I'm blonde here and I'm ombred back here. So there you go kids, I have ombre hair. Um, it's gonna drive my husband nuts. But uh, who cares? So um, anywho, topic of the day, what happened over in Manchester. Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of those who passed. Prayers go out to the people who were injured. Hopefully they recover quickly, physically, if not mentally, because um, I know this is going to take a while for them to uh, mentally get back, uh, especially after what happened. Um, anyhow, uh, hmm. prayers to uh, Thoughts and prayers to honor Ariana Grande and her crew. Um, I've been listening to Ariana Grande songs all morning. My eye is bothering me. I hope I didn't get bleach in my eye. That would suck. Get it on my contact. Um, anywho. <laughs> I say anywho a lot, I noticed. Um, yeah, thoughts and prayers go out to Ariana Grande and everyone on her crew from her down to the lowest tech person, the people that put together the arena for her to go out, actually go out and sing and perform for these people. Um, my thoughts on ISIS. I wish the jerks would all kill themselves. Radical terrorists. Bunch of idiots is what they are. Uh, when you bomb, when you bomb, a concert like they did last night that had kids in it. The youngest person I know that died there that I know of was eight years old. Eight. So, yeah, I'm a little pissed. Yeah, pissed a lot of people off. So, hopefully soon they will start seriously kicking people's ass. Yes, I said ass. I'm sorry. Sorry. <sighs> okay, I've got that over, but I just wanted to show you guys a few things, too, besides uh, being on this rant. Got my Finn Balor shirt on. Um, <clears throat> Irish. Gotta support my Irish boy. Um, Alan got me these. This big plant. It's Oleander. He got me that for Mother's Day. What he didn't realize was Oleander can't survive the winters here. So we gotta bring it in. We can't plant it in the backyard like he thought he was going to. Well, we got that. If you look down here, we got a crap load of seeds. And over here, another crap load of seeds. And more. And plants. And also, plants, plants, roses, roses, more roses. This house is full of plants. It's insane. Um, but, yeah. Uh, ooh, I got a little wispies. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I was going to do an, the nail thing, but as you can see, my nails have already chipped due to dyeing my hair. Uh... Bleach doesn't do good on nails, no. Well, it's off. I got that out of my system. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, didn't really think about ombering my hair, but to tell you the truth, it kind of looks cute, so I think I'll keep it for a while. See? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep that for a while. Um, tomorrow, we have, since I'm making the video today, we have um, to go to Andrew's preschool for a parent interactive thing with Andrew. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't take a really long. <laughs> um, we got that. And then Saturday we have a Memorial Day party up at, I think it's, I think it's at South Point? For uh, Alan's boss is throwing a party. So we're going to go up there and chill for a while with the kids and have some fun. I think there's supposed to be like fireworks or something and uh, food and music and all that good stuff because Mr. Payat's awesome like that. 
Uh, and he, tre he, treats his, he treats his employees well, which I'm very grateful. Uh, <laughs> even, even, he, he, man, maintenance up. Even, I think he invites some of the janitors. But, people used to call my husband a janitor. I'll get, I won't get into that. But, uh, yeah, we get all, we all get treated really well. Um, people from, that work at his farm get treated really well. Oh, I got bags under my eyes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't slept real well. I didn't sleep real well last night, guys. Last night was, uh, kind of hard for me. I can't stand the bombings and stuff. It, it really gets to me, especially if kids are involved. Um, but, uh, whew. Anyway. I am now sitting out here. Um, I have some books I wanted to show you. First off is, this is Nora Roberts. This is book three of the Cousins of Fire trilogy. This trilogy rocks my world. I love this. So if you have a chance, go pick up the Cousins of Dwyer trilogy. It takes place in Ireland. It's three people. They are dark witches, but they are fighting, but they're good. They're not, when they say dark witches, they mean good witches who take care of people. They're... Uh, their ancestor was the dark witch who passed on her powers to her three kids, who passed theirs on to three kids, who passed theirs on to three kids, and so on. And they go and they're fighting this uh, evil guy named Caban, I think is how you say his name. But it's really, really good. And as you can see, there's the lady herself. Gotta love Nora Roberts. She, uh, my mom loved Nora Roberts, so she got me into Nora Roberts. But... That's what I'm doing. I'm like almost done. I think I'm almost done with this book. Uh, and I just got it. Shows you how much I read. Uh, but it's a beautiful day here in Cannonsburg. Um, and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're, everybody there is at. Everybody who watches this. Um, I wanted to give a bit of advice. Don't take life for granted. Don't take people for granted. Because you never know when it's going to end. When you're going to lose somebody. Just love everybody. Do, do what you can. Love everybody. Um, this, this world would be a bigger, better place if people loved one another. And that's the truth. Um... I keep looking up the street. I keep thinking I hear my neighbors up there. And I gotta say it, I kind of feel awkward when I'm talking. To, just talking to my phone like this. But <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. But yeah, um, love your neighbors. Love everyone except radical Islamic terrorists. And speaking of love your neighbors, I think my neighbors are getting into a fight somewhere. So... So, anyway, alrighty, talk to you later, kids. Bye.